What's up guys? It's Mike again. Um, I was just playing around with um, a song that I do a lot when I play them live, which is uh, Mary, Lane, Mary, Lane, Mary Jane's Last Dance from uh, Tom Petty. And, uh, and I was thinking the other day, whenever I was playing it, about there's a little riff in there and I never really play it when I'm playing. But I was like, how does it, I was thinking about it, how does that riff go? Anyway, so today I went and I listened back to it and uh, and I figured out the, the riff, uh, or pretty darn close to it anyway, and then I had a, a couple of pretty cool ideas of what I could use to um, just help my fretboard knowledge, um, and using ideas like that riff um, more often while I'm playing and stuff like that. So I'm going to uh, zoom in on my guitar and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, if you listen to the song uh, as you're as you're playing along through the we're playing a, a an A minor, a G, a D, and a and a back to A minor. So it's kind of like a. So the little riff comes in at, or lick, however we want to call it, comes in over the D chord. And when it's going back to the A minor. And it, and it sounds like this. And if you listen to the song, it's kind of like, uh, I want to say, after the first chorus into the next verse um, on a couple of, I hear it a couple times during the song. And... Um, so what's kind of happened is you're hearing like a slide up, okay, from the second fret of the fourth string, which is an E note up to an F sharp, okay, and then we hear um, at least that's what I've kind of pulled out of it so far. Uh, if I listen to it again, that might change, but. Regardless of it, whether that's exactly right or not, it sounds pretty close, and um, and it's a pretty cool little riff that we can do, say over a D chord. Okay, because if we're looking at this, we've got uh, we've got parts of our uh, D chord. Basically, we have a third of the D chord. We have a fifth of the so the third, fifth root. And we're sliding into the third. So third, five, one. And then we slide back to this note here, which is an E, which is kind of coming back to our A minor, um, our A minor note, uh, or fifth of our A minor anyway. So anyways, don't worry about that. Here we go. So that's the, that's the riff. And then I was like, well, let's see where else we can play that exact same thing. So, well, we're going to the third of D, so I used it this position. This is our D, D bar chord. So, and I'm playing. So slide up. That's our seventh up to our ninth fret on our fifth string. And then the next two strings. So we did it here, and so that's kind of the same, pretty much the same thing. Uh, and as you can see, I'm using these fingers, a little hybrid picking style for that. You can do that or you don't have to do that. Um, the idea is a little riff over the D chord, and then we can do it, so we can do it here, we can do it here. do it up here. So if we use this position of a D bar chord, okay, now that's a little high. So we could practice going from, then we could do 
this one. And we're gonna do this one. Okay, just getting used to those. So that would all be for the D chord. Now, I was, I was also thinking, all right, now we have the beginning, we have an A minor, and then we have a G, and then we have a D, then we have an A minor again. So if we were to take this idea for the, for the um, A minor, well, now we need, a, instead of a major third, we need a flatted third. So here's our, here's a A minor bar chord on the sixth string, fifth fret, a bar chord shape. And so we take our, our second and slide it up to our flatted third. So we don't go all the way, we don't go up to the major third, we go up to the, the minor third. Now that little slide back was going back to the A minor when we were using it in context of the D. Okay, so for this one we're just going to slide up and we're going to keep it on A minor because our next one's going to be a G. So this is our A minor riff. Then we take it back to a G riff. So here's our D G bar chord. And so we had an A minor. Then we have our G. We can then we can go to our D back to our A minor so a if we start to put those together a minor G. so that was basically three riffs but kind of the same riff I just used them for different chords a minor slide it back and again just look real close look at where my fingers are six string seventh fret this is for the A minor and the first finger is holding these two uh, seventh fret so seventh fret we're sliding up to the eighth on the sixth string then uh, seventh fret on the fifth and fourth then we take it back and we're going to use our third finger for this slide. Fifth fret on the sixth string up to the seventh. And then our first finger is going to bar the fifth and fourth string on the fifth fret. Okay. And then we take our third finger here on the seventh fret of the uh, fifth string. Slide it up to the ninth fret. That's all. These two uh, fourth and third string barred on uh, the seventh fret. Okay, so 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 that's kind of a little cool little lick you could use uh, over, say, "Last Dance with Mary Jane" or any songs that use these chords. Uh, that are you know just kind of you got to fit them into the rhythm obviously and you can also move that so a minor we'd be here here's our a note the second the flat third on the third string of the fifth I mean, I'm sorry flat third on the third fret of the fifth string so and you notice these notes are in our a minor chord then take it back to how we did it for G which was still on the A string, we use the A to the B, and then the next two open. You do all that with a first finger, so A minor, then the G. That's the G, and then the D was the one we did at the beginning. And then, of course, we could do that all up here on the higher strings, but um, just so we did that, uh, that was the D. So if we're going to make that an A, we would, uh, we'd have to use our A shape here. So, so here would be, this is where our, this would be our minor, our A minor kind of shape. And 
it'd be the tenth fret of the fourth string with our middle finger, the ninth fret of the third string with our first finger, the tenth fret of the second string with our ring finger. And we slide this up, hitting that fourth string. A. Then we need to do a G, which is going to be a major shape. This was our minor. So the G major would be more like this, which kind of reminds us of what we did back here with the G, with the D. Okay. So the G. So A minor. G and then D. all up to speed. So that's a little something I just kind of stumbled across uh, while I was practicing a little bit today and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought I'd share it and uh, I'm going to actually get on, I'm going to practice it a little bit more, I'm going to work on, I'm going to set my loop pedal and just run that uh, little rhythm over and over again and then I'm going to practice the little riffs on top of it, move it from one chord to the next at a set tempo and maybe even speed it up a little bit to see what else uh, happens. So that's a little uh, peek into uh, one of my little practice sessions here at my house. So hope you liked it. And uh, I'll see you soon on another video.